Hey guys, Mr. Here again for another video today, and we are back with some more Winnipeg Jets franchise mode, and ooh, ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> we get to, I get to finally do my, uh, my first simming of the game, I guess. I don't know, that's definitely not the right word, but I will finally be able to start simming this game, and I'm super excited for it. So, obviously the team's not looking too bad. Uh, what the lines would more than likely be if we were to play right now. Uh, this is what the lines would look like. But uh, I, I think I have decided that I'm going to send Hendricks down and I am going to sign Yager, which I think would be a, a good idea. So we're going to go uh, to free agents and we're going to try to acquire Yaramir Yager. So, I mean, he's pretty good. 83 overall is not bad at all. We're going to go one year, and I'm going to assign him to a $3 million deal. It's not too bad. He might retire this year. You never know. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to sign anybody Sign anybody else. Maybe uh, Day Prey, but I think our defensive core is good enough as it is. Uh, I mean, maybe I could. Let's just go look at the D core really quickly. Let's see. Do I really want to... Uh, do I really want to change anything up? I mean, instead of Chariot or Chirot, I still don't know how to say his damn name, I could sign Daypray, who'd be 81 overall, or he'd be a plus two to Chariot, so maybe. That wouldn't be too bad. Right now, if we look at the special teams, is... All right, so Perot is on there. So what I think I'll do is I'll swap out Perot for Yager and then switch out Armia for... Perot and then put Perot in the last empty spot. Or no, put Army in the last empty spot. Sorry, my bad. All right, so is that what I want to do, though? So defense, we could send down Chariot or Chirot, whatever. Uh, switch him out for Schilling, which wouldn't be bad. You know what? I think I think that's not bad. I think we'll sign Daypray to a one-year deal as well. I think this could be a year, like, we could go for it all this year, to be honest. I mean, we're making our team a little bit better, and assuming we have the cap space, oh, well, I know we have the cap space, assuming we have the roster space, both these players could definitely sign with us, which would be awesome, that's for sure. I, speaking of roster space, I do need to see if we have, uh, if we do have full, all right, now we're good. We have plenty of contract space. That's fine with me. That's great, actually. So I think we'll advance a few days, and I'd like to be able to have both of them signed with us before the Nashville game. I know it is a preseason game, but still, I'd like to have the full team playing together uh, by the time uh, we get to the preseason, which would be nice. So scouting in this game, it seems to be a little bit better than last year, which I'm very happy with. But uh, one first off, I mean, does it really matter where we scout? Because we are listed as champions. I'm not saying we could, we won't have a bad year, but I'm saying, like, we're listed as champions. Does it really matter where we scout? I think I am still going to scout uh, for the high first-round players. But other than that, let's go. So defenseman for three weeks. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll check out uh, Ross Mazdalen first. But uh, preseason has started, and we are just a few days out for ourselves. One more day. Will they accept? Yager accepts, and Daypray accepts before we have to play our first game as well, which I am very pleased with. That actually helps out a lot. So let's make some roster moves, and then we will uh, figure everything out. So in the system, we need to bring up Daypray and Yogs. Now, if we sort it by fours, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So, I think I'll send those three down. Okay, wait, one sec. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I do need to keep one of them up. So, Patan or Cop? Uh, Cop is listed as a fourth liner, so I'll send Cop down. We'll keep Patan up. He'll be our depth forward, uh, since I do have injuries on this year. So for defenseman, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Chariot, he is listed as a top six, which scares me that he might complain about ice time. If we go in the system, uh, Melchiori. 
you know what? Uh, I'm not going to send down Cherry a lot, but hopefully he doesn't complain about ice time. Uh, for an extra goalie, we have Hutchinson up here. And yeah, I think we'll just keep it like that. So we'll finish that, and we'll make the, those moves. Now let's go to edit lines, and we'll figure out what the team is going to look like. So let's change Perot for Yager, who's a right wing, I believe. All right, so Yager, he will get the power play time. And then we'll switch out Armia for Perot. Uh, yep, come on. And then what is Hendricks on? Can I see what Hendricks is on? Special teams. Okay, so I will put... Uh, let's go back to the starting lineup. So I'll s change the unfilled spot, and we will put in Armia, who I think is... Oh, no, he's a right wing. All right. So we'll put Armia in. All right, that is fine with me. And then we will scratch Hendricks for Patan. Hendricks will be our last player, or will be our depth player or the injured player. Wait, there we go. Okay, yeah, switch that. All right, so I think that is good. Do I want Armia or Dano playing? Actually, I want Dano playing the third line just because he has better potential. He is also listed as a third liner. Actually, Matthias and Armia are both listed as third liners, so I'm going to have to make sure they get ice time. But let's change out Chariot. I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to go with Chariot. Wait. One second. Let's look at his name again. Ch Chirot. Ch Chirot. That's his, That's going to be his name. All right, boys. And <laughs> Whatever. I can't. All right. So, unfortunately, we have two right-handed defensemen on our top pairing. I would have liked to go three and three, which we do have three of each, but I don't want to play Bufflin or Truba on the second pairing, to be honest, because Bufflin's listed as a top two. Truba's listed as a top four, but I want to give him the top two ice time. So I think we'll keep it like that. Now, for offense, uh, I would say, okay, so Depre's defensive. Uh, Myers is pretty damn defensive as well, but he can play on that offensive side as well, kind of. So, all right, well, let's see. So let's go. Um, do we have everything right? I think everything is fine now. So we'll have Line, Shifley, Ehlers, Wheeler, Little, and Yager. Then Perot, Lowry, and Dano, then Matthias, Armia, and Patan. Defensively, Truba, Bufflin, Morrissey, Myers, and Enstrom, Depre. So let's look at the special teams really quickly. I want to see if everything is looking fine. Bufflin, and do I want Bufflin and Morrissey? Yeah, I think we'll do that. Who's got the better shot between these two? Definitely Truba. Bufflin and Myers, they'll be able to take one-timers like that. Yogs. Wheeler, I do want to take one timers, and then Little taking face offs. That is fine. Shifley line a little Wheeler instead of Little. I'm gonna put Ehlers on, who is a left wing, I think. No, he's a right wing. All right. Uh, Ehlers. Wow, we have way, we have way too many right wings right now. So which one is better at face offs? Wheeler is. So Wheeler will take the face offs. Truba Myers as well for that penalty kill. Lowry Dano, Armia Pro which I believe is everyone. Oh, we need Matthias on here. Somehow I'm going to have to get or have to give Matthias some more ice time. I'll give him third line ice time. I th or three man PK ice time, I think. Uh, I think the penalty kill looks fine, though. I mean, Army is not the greatest penalty killer, though. Perot, decent. Uh, Army is okay. Dana looks pretty good, and Lowry looks pretty good. So what if... Uh, who's better? Uh, Armia or... Um, where is he? Come on. Or uh, Matthias. Matthias is definitely better. So you know what? We'll play Matthias on the three-man then. Um, yeah, so we'll give Armia top line four-man. All right. Uh, or the format, or just the regular penalty kill, I guess. And then instead of Lowry, we'll put on uh, Matthias. He gets the first line three on, th or three man PK, not three on three. Uh, all right, that's fine with me. Then extras Shifley, Line A, Trupa, Bufflin, ooh, Ehlers, and Wheeler, I think is what I'm going to go with. Ehlers and Wheeler, all right. Myers and Morrissey. 
four on four here. Uh, instead of Ehlers, we'll put Little, who's a center. We'll put Little, all right. And instead of Lowry, we'll put Matthias. Yeah, we'll put Matthias. And Enstrom Depre, all right. Three on three. Shifley, instead of Little, I want Line A. And then uh, for the third three on three, we'll put Wheeler, who's also a right wing. We'll put Wheeler there. All right, I think everything is fine now. Uh, extra attacker, Shifley, and do I want Wheeler or do I want Line A? I feel like I want Line A. Well, we'll go with Line A, all right? That's fine. And then shoot out Shifley. I think I want Line A first, yeah. Uh, Shifley, okay, wait, which one's better, Shifley or, okay, you know what, we'll keep it like that, and then Ehlers, and then Little, do I want Little or do I want Yogg, so which one is better at shooting, Yogger might have a better shot, okay, well, I'd say Little definitely has a better shot, other than that, maybe Matthew Perot, how, was, how good's Perot's shot, yeah, well, he's okay, so, I think that is how our shootout is going to be. All right, guys. So I think it is finally time I get to do my simming, which is going to be fun. Actually, one more thing before we do this. So our first line is going to be Patrick Line a with Mark Scheifele and Nikolai Ehlers. All pretty damn good. All medium elite. All under 24 years old. What a sweet top line that is. Second line of Yarmir Yager, and Brian Little, and Blake Wheeler, which honestly is a very good kind of veteran uh, second line, but they can all get it done, which I'm happy with. And then Matthew Perot with Adam Lowry and Marco Dano, so we got some young and old on the third line. Fourth line, kind of uh, the same thing, but overall, I think everything is good offensively. Defense, top two of Truba and Bufflin, which looks really good. Second pairing of Morrissey and Myers, which also looks really good. And then Enstrom and Depre on the third pair. Uh, goalies, Mason and Hellebuck. I want to give Hellebuck starting time, though, because I want to see if he can grow. You know what? We'll try it. But it is, uh, it's time for the preseason now, boys. And if we start our season later, like we started the preseason later, we could have games in hand throughout the entire season, which could help us in a way. So, well, our, our first game with this team went very well. 11-3 and three is very, very good, that is for sure. I do want to advance a day to see if we can beat Minnesota. I wanted to just see how we did in the preseason. So 3-3-0 three, three oh isn't too bad. 11-3 uh, win, 3-1 three, win, 3-0 three, loss. 5-4 win, 6-3 loss, 4-0 loss. All right, so 3-3-0. Three, three, oh. Not too bad. Who did the best in the preseason? Shifley with 8 points. All right, that is not bad. Now, Minnesota did really good. So does Chicago. Colorado, same as us. All right, interesting. So overall, preseason wasn't too bad. Uh, hopefully, we have a better season than that, though. I would be perfectly okay if we did have a better season than that. Now, is there something else I want to do before we head to our next game? Let's just see uh, the lines. Is everybody looking good? Uh, I think so. Every, everything looks fine. If we look at our goalies, though, Hellebuck, did he get all five? No, he got two of those, or he got five of the starts. And then Mason had to go in twice, so ew. Both their stats looking actually terrible, which could be bad. <laughs> so I don't have auto rotate goalies on, or I don't have ro auto rotate goalies off. So hope or so Mason should still get quite a decent amount of ice time, even though I'm uh, he's I have him as our backup. But uh, yeah, so let's sim our first ten games, and uh, we'll see how that goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, yeah, so Minnesota. So we'll sim up to our second Minnesota game, and we'll see how we do in our first 10. We lose to Toronto 
in the season opener, which was also our home opener, which kind of sucks, not going to lie. But, I mean, it's okay. Hopefully we'll just have uh, a better a better time throughout the, the rest of this or I don't I don't honestly I have no idea what I'm trying to say I just completely lost all brain cells uh, <laughs> all right well our first five I think we were we were four one and oh which isn't bad we're still looking good though five two and oh same thing for the Manitoba moose and we have a trade from the Vancouver Canucks maybe I'm not gonna tr accept that because I don't want Edler uh, that's a pretty expensive deal as well but maybe if we hadn't assigned day prey i would have looked at that but other than that i mean yeah so on a two game losing streak now all right so in our first 10 we went six four and oh which isn't too bad uh hopefully we'll do a little bit better as we move on throughout the season 11 points for shifley though is a point per game player i just saw that kyle connor was complaining about ice time i do want to make sure that he is in because I do want to make sure that he is getting all the ice time he possibly can get. He is not in. All right, well, that makes sense. Best lines down here in the AHL. So we've got Connor with Cop and Lipon or Lipin, Lipon. I think I want Roslevic on the second, or on the first line, sorry. Is there anybody else with potential that I want? Lemieux with Lipon or Lipon and Tanev. Defensively, we've got Kulikov. He just finished uh, growing. He was 26 at the start of this episode, so he literally must have just been his birthday. Uh, other than that, you know, we'll give our bottom pair more ice time just because they both have the high AHL top two pairing. Now for scratch players, is there anybody I want to put in here? Um, yeah, okay, so, oh yeah, Niku, Spacek, and Harkins. I want to put all three of them in. So who is done growing on the forward court? Just Cormier? Well, we'll switch out Cormier. We'll give that ice time to Harkins just because he's the higher overall than Spy than Spycheck. Spycheck. Uh, who else, though? Sutter or Suter. We will also change Sutter. I'm going to go with Sutter. We'll change out for Spycheck. All right. And then defensively, eh, Schilling for Niku. All right, well, that's fine with me. I think that actually looks good. And I'm going to give Niku that top line, or that top pairing ice time. Uh, Spotcheck and Harkins can both get second line time as well. Which, yeah, okay, you know what? I think that is fine now. We got Eric Comrie as our starter in the AHL as well. I do know that, which is very good. So now... We'll uh, continue the sim and hopefully continue on with uh, hopefully a better part of the season now. If we can have uh, some more wins early on in the year, I think that could really help us in the long run. I think the only problem with us right now is the goaltending, which kind of sucks, but I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully they don't struggle too bad. Mason and Halibut aren't the worst goalies, so we'll hopefully see especially hellebuck we'll hopefully see hellebuck improve to maybe an 83 84 that'd be nice but uh, let's see how is everyone doing in the first 10 games shifley uh 11 line a 10 ehlers perot nine wow perot is doing really good He's playing on the third line and has nine points lowry with eight yager with seven uh wheeler with seven and little with five now, I don't necessarily want to change up that third line because it's doing good. Well, Dano's not doing so good, but Perot and Lowry are doing good. But at the same time, I kind of want to maybe change Perot and Little just because they're both doing pretty decent. You know, I'm not going to change anything yet. It's literally only been 10 games. There's I, Maybe Perot's just having a hot start. Uh, but yeah, so I'm not going to change anything. We'll just sim to the end of the month, I think, and then we'll see how... Every, oh, well, we're at the end of the month. Never mind. We'll sim to uh, December 1st, and we'll see how the team's doing. If we go on a big losing streak, I might make some line changes. So we lost in the shootout to Dallas, but they were 10-2-1. and one. So I'm glad we at least got a point against them. Uh, now against Montreal. Can... Uh, what happened to, to my game? What is going on? 
Oh, it's a scouting assignment. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. Uh, OHL forwards for a month. Uh, I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to scout the forwards first in Canada for a month each, in, or a month in each league, and we'll see how that goes. So just hit our 10th win, 10, 6, and 2 now. Uh, isn't too great. Uh, we've, we're getting some losses in here, but we're also getting some wins. I don't know how I feel about this so far. We're not doing too bad. We're probably in like a wild card spot maybe. I'm glad we are getting some points though from some of our losses, but you know what? We picked it up near the end of November, which is good. So we have a record of 14, 8, and 3, which isn't too bad. It's technically 14 and 11. Let's see. I'm assuming third, maybe fourth in the league or in our division. Wow, we're actually second. So we're actually doing better than I thought. We are tied for second though. St. Louis actually has the exact same record as us. And then Dallas is doing really good. Although, look at Shifley, 24 points in 25 games, I believe, 26 games, 25 games, I think. Let's see. Uh, let's see, how is everyone doing? So, one point behind point per game is Shifley, which is good. Ehlers is doing good with 20, Line is doing good. He is on pace for a 30-goal season, so is Shifley, which I'm perfectly okay with. Perot is still fourth on the team with Lowry and Wheeler. Little picked it up. Yager's doing good. He is probably on pace for a 20-goal season, I would say. Uh, yeah, probably. Actually, really, if you think about it, Line's on pace for like a 40-goal season almost because he has basically a goal every other game. That would be interesting. That would be cool to see. Um, all right, well, I mean, defensively, Bufflin's doing the best with nine points. Truba's not doing bad. Uh, either with eight points. So overall, uh, I don't think we're doing too bad. I feel like it just may be a problem with the goaltending. Mason's been getting the starts, but he's been getting it done at a 925. So you see, the thing is about this for Hellebuck is that I want to give him a starting ice time, but he is only a medium starter and he's 24 years old. Where if we look in the AHL, we've got Eric Comrie, who's a medium starter. Only four overall low, lower, and also only two years younger. Or also two years younger. So I think, uh, I don't know, I think we'll just keep Mason as the starter. He's doing good. 925 save percentage is not bad. 14, 4, and 2. Actually, five. <laughs> well, Hellebuck's actually doing really bad. He has five losses. He's got a 915 save percentage, which is the league's average for a goaltender, but five losses i'd like for him to start getting some wins or at least getting some more points when he's in net i haven't had an injury yet either though so i don't know how i feel about this i may turn the injury slider up a little bit because i would kind of like to see uh see it a little bit more realistic but i mean other than that i don't know so we'll sim uh to the new year and we'll see how we do in december Got to edit the scouting assignment first. I think we now have to look at the queue. Yep, queue forwards for a month. Shouldn't be bad. So 15, 16, 9, and 3. Now, Wheeler is mad about his ice time. If he continues to complain about his ice time, I'm definitely going to have to edit that. We'll have to check that out. We have a trade offer, another one for Edler. I'm still not going to take Edler. But uh, I'm waiting to see if we get another notification about Wheeler. Because if he is complaining about his ice time, I'm definitely going to have to give him more ice time. But uh, I don't know what else I can give it, get him on. I know he's listed as a first liner, but he's getting very good ice time. Like, he's still getting a shit ton of ice time. But uh, you know what? We still aren't doing too bad. We actually hit a lot of losses there. Valtteri Filpula. Uh, I don't want to give up on Lemuse. That's definitely not going to happen. We actually got too many losses in those two, three, couple of weeks against Tampa, Vancouver, St. Louis. Yeah, we went on a four-game losing streak there. I was really hoping we were on pace to hit 20 wins before we were about to hit like 15 losses, and I was hoping that would have continued, but unfortunately it did not. So that kind of sucks, but uh, we're now... 
at uh, January 1st, and we have a record of 22, 13, and 5. I'd say probably fourth in our division right now. It's not a very good record, but I mean, we're not doing too bad. We are third in our division. We have both the wild card spots as well. So we have 40 games played, and not that's not very good. Wow, Chicago's doing really bad. Usually don't see Chicago do that bad. I don't know, but this, this is the second time I've been doing a sim, and for some reason I've seen Chicago just do really, really poorly. I would assume it's maybe... I was going to say I would assume maybe it's their offense, but no, I'd probably say Crawford, to be honest. Now, how many games have we played? We have played... Uh, 40. So Shifley's got 36 points in 40 games. Isn't too bad. He's getting a lot of assists. He only got one goal since that last time I checked the stats. But uh, that's fine. Line is still on pace. Yeah, so he's probably on pace for around 33 goals, I would say. Uh, Wheeler's still doing good. Is he still complaining about ice time? He is. Well, I'm going to have to give him more ice time then. I mean, that first line is still doing good. Wheeler, Yager, Perot, Lowry, Little, Armia. Bufflin's got 15 points. Not too bad. Where's Truba? Truba's only got nine. He only got one point since the last time I checked the stats, which, stats, which was like, what, 12, get 14 ish games ago or something like that? I don't even remember, to be honest. All right, well, let's see. Uh, let's check the lines again. I think I'll give Wheeler. Actually, Marco Dano's grown. That's good. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'll give Wheeler first line power play time since he is complaining. And then four man. I guess we'll do that. I mean, I don't know. We'll give. Uh, I don't know. Kind of want to keep Wheeler on the second four man what if we keep him on the top or what if we put him on the top power play though actually one more thing let's go to extras instead are here is Matthias complaining about ice time he is too ah oh, man he's listed as a third liner he's playing fourth line like there's not much I can do about it so I can't take him off as a little complaining about ice time no he's just complaining about how he's playing is Depre or Enstrom complaining about ice time? Depre did a little bit, which is understandable, to be fair. I mean, if we go to the penalty kill, what if I were to take Morrissey off? Just I know I want to give Morrissey ice time, but Depre's got better defensive stats anyways, I believe. Wait, let's look at Depre. Uh, yeah, they're a little bit better. So, you know what? We'll switch up the penalty kill a little bit. And instead yeah, instead of Morrissey here, we'll put Depre there as well. So, we'll try that. And, yeah. Hopefully, everybody stops complaining about ice time. Now, I mean, there's not much I can do about uh, Matthias because he's going to complain about ice time no matter what since he's playing on the fourth line and he's listed as a third liner which I may have to look in trying to trade him, maybe. Not sure. So let's do one more month, and then I'll probably end the episode there. Jason Pominfil and uh, Josh Georges for Jack Roslevic and our third in this upcoming draft. I'm going to decline that because I don't want to give up on Jack Roslevic. He looks like he could be a solid prospect, so I'm going to keep him. That is for sure. Um... Dion Phaneuf for two seconds. I do not want Dion Phaneuf either. Thank you, though. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we had a six-day break heading into this Calgary game. Can we beat Calgary? We cannot. Apparently, that six-day break was too much for us. <sighs> God damn it. I, uh, I, I, hmm. I don't even know what to say. I don't know how I feel about this. We're still doing good. We are doing pretty decent, which I'm happy about. But uh, three-game losing streak. We had a back-to-back -back as well, and we lost both of them. And then that's another loss to Tampa. We keep losing to Tampa. Okay, so on this next stretch to the deadline, I'd like to have like 32 wins. 
Whether that can happen, I'm not sure, but I mean, I don't know. So let's see, where are we now? We are now down to fourth in a wild card spot, which isn't great, to be honest. Uh, we have played 51 games, so I don't know. Nashville, uh, they're kind of in a better position than us. They have three games in hand, and they're six points behind us, so... You know what, guys, I'm going to have to end the episode here. I may look at some line changes off screen, but, uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think I should do here because, I mean, the trade, I don't, I'm not going to make any trades, more than likely, but uh, we're going up against a very bad Vegas team next, and we need to win here. It'll help both teams out realistically. We send them down, uh, so they or we give them a loss, and they can get a better draft pick. We give, and if we take the win, we can move up into third again. So I'm going to end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you all did enjoy and are enjoying. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching once again, and goodbye.